Welcome back to Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode playthrough Melee. So, I fought Plantera a couple of times, at least five or six, and I went into it. This was, uh, I was trying to get this right here, the Seedler. So, I had to go into a normal world. One of my older worlds, I think I went into the Ranger playthrough world. And I had to fight Plantera there because this sword, the Seedler, is what I was trying to get. And I fought like five of them, and I'm like, why am I not getting the sword? So, I looked it up. And apparently the only way to get it is in a normal world. I don't know why. I have no clue why. But this is what I wanted. And uh, all the stuff that was garbage. I just threw that shit away. I didn't really care about that. But, uh... That looks good, but I don't really care. No. No, we want something amazing. Give me something amazing. No, that's not that good. But yeah, this is what I was looking for in fighting Plantera was this sword right here. Now, it doesn't do crazy amounts of damage, but it does have a little explosion, which could be very useful. But these are things that I really kept. I also got a developer set. Apparently, this is it. Oh, I put on the... I put that on on accident. Is this all from it? Hasty wings. Let me put on these wings. Damn, I feel like a fucking butterfly. Alright, let's put on... Let's put on all this other stuff, too, while we're at it. Why are my feet brown okay whatever wait why are they <laughs> that bothers me um i mean the wings are already purple so if we no what the heck oh okay 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 okay, okay. so i got this too the seedling that's a pet i've had this before so i'll summon the seedling in uh let me put this away and we got this this is new thorn hook and the hook i've been using is the what's the name meat hook tendon hook that's what I've been using, and it's not bad, but it's very, like, it's a very boring design. And, uh, let's hope, for, let's hope that this thorn hook, which is not the ivy whip, let's hope that this is cooler. Okay, it's kind of like the ivy whip, but, uh, oh, it's like, uh, Plantera's claws when he goes around, okay. But yeah, I did fight Plantera at least six times. I died one of the times, because I don't know what the hell, I think I had, like, four potions, and I didn't restock on my potions. But I've been trying my best to... As many potions I can stocked up, and I have at least like four of each right now. Now, I really want to use the Warding Spore Sack. It's something I just want to use in one of my, uh, for one of my slots, but I, I can't find, like, a good use for it. Like, it's, it summons a lot, but does it do enough DPS is the question. I have no clue at all. So, uh, let's get our potions here. I think I quick stack, like, all of them. Get one of each. Actually, we'll probably need two of each. We'll get two of each. I'll bring the summoning potion just because. Uh, we're we're fighting the golem, and when I was looking, I was watching videos about fighting the golem, trying to figure out how bad he is in the expert, and he isn't too bad. So we shouldn't have the hardest time doing this. But one of the recommendations is you don't really need too much. Like you don't you won't need frostbark boots. I wasn't gonna wear them anyways. Because you're in a very small, confined space. And you're not really going to need them. And I had the claws back in my inventory. <laughs> Just because I want to use them. If I can. If I can find a use to... Like, I've used this... The best way I used it when I played expert mode of the multiplayer. I, w I just stood still when he got into second form. And just went like this. And it just destroyed his second form in second. And uh, that seemed like the best way... My mouse just died. Hold on. <laughs> Don't die on me right now. Alright. Turn it back on, but it just like died on me all of a sudden. I gotta I gotta change the batteries just in case it dies on us during a fight. But let's let's see let's see how good this thing is. Let's give it a little test. We're gonna head over there. Head on over. And see how how good or how bad this sword really is. I did change my fight spot. My Plantera fight spot. We still have this arena, but I had to move it down here was the second place I fought and I found something really cool we're gonna use the rod of discord to get where I want to go hold up oh my god that oh. no it doesn't do that much damage oh my this is I can get down with this this is not bad to say the least um do I have the spore thing you know what? I'm gonna equip it for now I'm gonna equip it over the yo-yo bag for now get down with this uh it's like jungle fever i got going on don't take that out of context 
but let's uh we want to head over here to the right yeah here we are God damn it. just tell where i don't care if i lose health so this is what i found is this thing the uh what's this called grindstone sharpening station really good to have because it uh gives you a lot of gives you armor penetration which helps a lot i feel like it's gonna help me during this uh golem fight but uh, I don't think I'm going to use the Seedler during the Golem fight. I don't know. We might give it a try. But I want to beat the Golem at least once. I know we need the Beetle Armor Set. Because that would improve us a lot. The whole Beetle Armor Set. But what I, I think what I'm going to do is fight him. So we can unlock post-Golem things. Uh, like better items from uh, the... What's it called? The Solar Eclipse. Because once we do that, we're like good to go. We're going to get a lot of better items open to us. We might even get the... What is that called? The Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo? I think that's what it's called. And that, that's gonna help a lot. Yo, there's a mushroom biome over here. I've never been over here. <laughs> uh, the way I got inside, because if you guys can see, I actually explored a little bit. I was wondering if I can get inside using the Rod of Discord, and I did. And then I, like, instantly died after that. Let's see. Do I have a key on me? I don't even think I have a single key on me. I think they're all at the house. No, I do. Okay, I do have a couple. Uh, put the yo-yo bag. Oh, we can't. Holy shit, my inventory's full. We're gonna drop in here. And we're gonna find the source of knocking. Alright, this is where the entrance is. Alright. That's nice enough. Is this really where the entrance is? Oh god. The hell kind of entrance is this? Alright, there's an arrow trap right here. We'll get rid of that. So, uh, I don't think I'm a fully explore that. I guess might as well. Let's just see what we can explore right now. Because my inventory is extremely full and I want to clear it. I don't know if the volume's louder or not because. Oh god. How did I not take damage right there? What the hell? I thought I was gonna you know, straight up just take some damage. Alright. Let's get rid of some stuff. I wanna come go back to the house before I fight the golem. But yeah, that's our that's my plan is to get some good stuff from Mothron in the invasion. Are we good? Oh no, there's still okay. There's still these dark traps right here. It's gonna be good getting these. These will help us with uh pumpkin moon and stuff like that but one of the things that i mainly want to do after we what, what's gonna drop in after we kill the golem is unlock the god not the goblin the martian madness event i've never done that event before and i really want to do it because it is really seems really cool the some of the items you get from that like i think the only item i remember seeing is uh what's it called the what the hell is this lead to is the like a vehicle you can drive around or something like that. Is it a vehicle? Like a mining drill? I don't know. Uh, something cool like that. Oh my god. I'm like turning into like a boomer from Left 4 Dead right now. I'm just like burping. Vomit. I'm kidding. Uh, break that dark trap. Hey, pal, how you doing? Why are these dropping healing potions? What the hell? Those don't help. Those don't help. They heal. Oh man, this is where this is gonna come in handy right here. Woo! Going through them. It's easy. That's easy work right there. Ow. Who just shot me? Who's shooting at me? Oh, there was spiky balls. <laughs> oh, man, that's a lot of gold I dropped. Six gold coins. Why does it say two and then... Okay, there's like four. What the hell? Why'd they drop like that? That's kind of weird. So, something I want to do really quick since we're already back at home. We got these solar tablet fragments, and that's what we need to craft the thing. We can summon in the solar lunar... Lunar Eclipse? I mean, Solar Eclipse? Lunar Eclipse? Something like that. Uh, but... Oh my god, my inventory is so full. I'm gonna put these in here. What about this? Is this... Is there... Is there a bat banner in here? There is. I gotta sell some stuff. This is... This is getting out of control. Get, you can have the pressure plate. Go ahead. Oh, my inventory is crazy full right now. What the heck? But... I wanna make some here. We're gonna get these shroomite bars that I've been making recently. We're gonna grab a mushroom. Only need one. Because we got more in here. Uh, and then we're gonna go down here. And we're gonna do this. So. What I wanna make. Is, oh, is it 17? We might need one more. What I'm trying to make is the shroomite digging claws. Right here. Shroomite digging claws. Alright, we need 18. So, this is really, really, really fast uh, digging claws, and they can be used to clear out areas and arenas really fast. I think that's, I really want them, and 
if we get the picks on our first try against the golem then that's gonna be very good so we'll see we'll see what happens here but i don't know i should no i, I still don't have enough i need just like a little bit more all right but yeah I'll, let's can i quick stack anything my inventory is incredibly full i hate this let's put these seeds in here too okay no 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 no, no. come on now. come on now. all right uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna organize my inventory really quick. So I've been sitting here just killing these dudes over and over again. Cause these dudes just don't stop respawning unless you have a whole like, unless you can see like every part of this floor. I don't know if I'm getting me free gold. Look at this. I've also been farming these solar tablets. But I think we are pretty much ready to fight this dude. We should be. I don't know. But uh, I got 900 rockets. I think, I think it's go time. Let's do this. Now, I am using the spore sack. We're going to see how this goes. Well, he's kind of stuck where he's standing, isn't he? So, I guess we can kind of chill out a little bit here. Just keep on trying to jump, man. Just stay right there and keep on trying to do that. Uh oh this guy, he shoots fireballs. He shoots fireballs. All right, let's get these spores down here on him. Come on, spores down here down here we're getting rid of the hands see the thing is we haven't even buffed the potion yet and i just noticed <laughs> i'm gonna do it for my safety uh, and also because i want to see if we can get past this but the seedler this baby right here is doing us is doing us some good and i really like it it's really good and for having a low damage just like it says it has pretty low damage it outputs a fuck ton of damage and that surprises me a lot here. So I have the Charm of Mist active. Means that using potions shouldn't be uh, too punishable. Okay, you know what? This fight shouldn't be too punishable either, to be honest. That was... <laughs> that was not too bad. Alright, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> so, remember when I said I was gonna farm stuff? Uh, Golem isn't too bad. I don't want to jinx anything, but... Doesn't seem like a. Doesn't seem too. Hold up. Can we summon another dude? Definitely can. Alright. We destroy his first hand instantly because he just like puts out his right hand for us. Look at these spores just slowly attracting to him. This is really good. <laughs> oh, he's got to jump into the spores. What the heck? You're crazy. You're one crazy fellow. Let me tell you that, Golem. So, uh, if you get the Pixar, I've never knew. I never knew this. And they might have added this in like 1.2.14. If you get the Pixar, you're actually able to move his altar to wherever you want. I've never, never known that. And I wish I did, but it's cool that you're able to move it wherever you want. If you uh, get the Pixar, and I like that. I've never known about it. It probably could have saved me some past fights with the golem, but uh, I'm okay with the. Uh, I'm okay with not knowing that because it's not too bad of thing that. I didn't know, it's just, it didn't like, oh my god, I could've, I could've been, oh my god, it's not, it's not something like that, that I was missing out on coming, on some crazy stuff, maybe I was missing out on making an easier boss fight, but, I don't know, I see the golem as a fairly simple boss fight, really cool boss, when I first saw the golem in 1.2, I'm like, wow, this is one of the coolest looking bosses there is, because he had this whole temple behind him, he had this whole new area for him, and I like to see that, but, uh, uh, I was reading about things about the future of Terraria, where it's gonna go since Red Digit last update was this update. Uh, Sanks, his wife, she, I think she's also, she's working on the game now. She said the next update is gonna be like a, a fix for the wiring system, you know, the redstone wiring or whatever the hell it's called, just a wire in general, not redstone, this is Minecraft. And it's an interesting path to take, but, you know, they like to get, they like to buff everything out. And I can see what they're trying to do, what they're trying to accomplish. But uh, they also there's also a post about them working on getting mod integration, something like that, something like Steam Workshop or mod compatibility, some some that makes modding a lot more. I don't know about modding making it easier, but uh, adding mods to the game, not actually creating mods, which uh, which would be awesome because I've always wanted to do a modded playthrough of Terraria. It's just. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to when the versions like T-Config or the, the name of the modding things, I don't remember those being updated. 
I'm like, wow, this sucks. I can't play Mario Terraria because those are not updated. I never really looked into it. And uh, it's very nice to see that those things are now all updated. 1.3. 1.3, I think the 1.3 like mod things are starting to come out now, but uh, there's a mod. What's that mod called? I think it's called Avalon or something like that. That mod looks really cool. I would do that mod, but I have that uh, idea after this Terraria playthrough finishes. I have a really good idea for what we're going to do next for the playthrough. I don't know if it'll be right after this playthrough, but it probably will be because if I, I'm probably going to forget the idea if I don't do it. So we just fought four golems, and it wasn't that bad. And uh, let's open these, shall we? So we're get this is the expert mode drop. Really good for melee, too, I think, if you can... I don't know, if you can find a way to be really tanky, you can be really good. <gasps> we got this right away? That's OP. Uh, so, greatly increases life gen when not moving. So, pretty much, if you want to, you can just probably do... Well, you know, you can do what I like to... Like, uh, what I was talking about earlier with the fetid Bangkoks. You can just sit there like that, have the spores circling around you, and even have the uh, guarding shiny stone, or the shiny stone, not guarding shiny stone. And that could work out really well. Alright, let's see what else. Oh! The hatchet. This is good to have. Look how many I can throw. I throw like four at a time. This is gonna help. Oh, fuck. I never looked at that traveling merchant's inventory, even though I don't think it sells anything too good melee wise. Late game. But it's always cool to see what he sells. Uh, Alright, let's see. Alright, this is not gonna help that much. Uh, Alright, and we did not get the pick saw, sadly. So I will be leaving this stuff here. Well, hmm, should I leave this stuff here? I mean, I should just put in my piggy bank and just carry all this, all this stuff right here with me. That's what I'm probably gonna do. But let me. Oh god, this isn't good. Inventory is cluttered, terribly cl cluttered. Oh my gosh. Spores. I don't know why we got spores in there. Um. Okay, it's not nighttime. I wanted to see if I can fight one if it was nighttime. This we don't even need that anymore. But let's put this in here. This right there. That means I should be able to pick up the remaining stuff. And we can book it. So, uh, for the rest of this episode, I don't know. That might have been really long what we just did. But we got 81 beetle husk. Now, the beetle husk is used to make the armor. The uh, beetle armor. Which is definitely what we want. Hold up. We got we got some cash here. Well, we got some cash that can be made right here. Uh, we're going to sell the guarding shiny stone. We'll send the ones with the, the things on them. The reforges on them get more money uh i have a campfire on me why did i didn't i like throw away a campfire we got this lizard for, lizard furnace i like calling it le lizard because that's what it looks like with how you le lizard and we're gonna we're gonna put this furnace here now we need the blocks to actually make the things to make the what's it called make stuff out of the that lizard furnace but for now we're gonna do what I wanted to do, and that is to make the the digging claws, the shroomite digging claws, for the future, just in case I need to clear anything out. Oh no, we need two more mushrooms. What the heck? I thought we had 29 mushrooms. We do not. Let's just break all this then. Get those two more mushrooms. Okay, so it's 15 each, and we should remember this from our. Uh, a ranger playthrough where we had to go through like a billion mushrooms just to make this just to make the armor from it, it costs a lot of mushrooms but the armor is really really good and it's kind of worth it at least i would say it's worth it but let's drop down here oh okay apparently it's, i don't like that that's the farthest i can see and i have to scroll down manually it's so slow when i record i don't know why something with parallax if i turn parallax off this goes really fast, but the game feels really weird with Parallax off. Uh, shoot my digging claws. Here we go. Demonic. Oh, these aren't even that fast. You need, like, these swing faster. It's because these are demonic and not really the reforge I want on them. Let's see if we can get a reforge, at, uh, like a speed reforge. Here we go. So, yeah, this is a little bit faster. So, we're going to get rid of the... We're going to get rid of this. I don't want this in my inventory. What the hell? I don't even know where to put this, to be honest. I'll put it down there for now. Is that even... My inventory is crazy full. So, what I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to fight... I believe I'm going to fight Solar Eclipse. And uh, But before we do that, I'm going to do that 
I might show little clips of it. I don't know. This episode might be long enough already. But I'll show little clips. But for now, we're gonna go here. And we're gonna look at all the things you can create with the beetle husks. We can make this, which I think is better than the frozen wings. I think. I'm not positive, though. I know beetle wings is one of the higher upper ones. Uh, but this is what we can do here. So now, we can go for incredible defense. Which is probably what we're gonna do is incredible defense. It seems like the best way to go. Make the beetle shell instead of the scale mail. I mean, we get six increased movement, movement, melee speed, but that doesn't really matter. I don't even think I want the scale mail to be honest, but I can always make it because I do have an extra turtle shell. Uh, and we can just make it in our chest plate and make that if we want to. But we're gonna make the shell. Boom, boom, bada bing, we got that. And make the beetle leggings. Just watch our de defense slowly spike up. Boom, 107 defense. Our attack speed may not be as fast, uh, but that's something you have to give up. And I don't have a problem with that. I'm okay with the s slower attack speed, but having more defense. I don't know. That's the route I've been going. Some people say DPS on uh, melee runs is something you want to do just to make fights go uh, faster. But in my in my eyes, I think having defense and just being able to handle, not really handle, but uh, sustain a battle, I think that's the best way to do as a melee character. But yeah, I'm going to do a jump cut here. I'm going to summon in a solar eclipse and see what I can get done. So I already got the broken eye Cthulhu like a second in summoning in the fucking <laughs> Solar Eclipse because a Mothron spawned in instantly. I, didn't, I thought they took a while to spawn in. But there's some more goodies we can get from this. Uh, one of them is I think we can get a chainsaw. I think we can get a chainsaw. Another one we can also get that will help us out with a little bit of DPS even though it's not a summoner playthrough. We can get the Deadly Spear Staff. So I saw a video about that from Yuri Mir and a really cool weapon that I'm gonna have to pick up in the multiplayer playthrough because that's a summoner character. But uh, yeah, I want to see if we can get this chainsaw out of this. There's a rain hat for some reason. But uh, hold that really quick. Let me. Wait, where'd I? Where'd it go? Can I fucking place it? But yeah, look how much like it's broken in it. I think it does more damage. No, it doesn't. But. There's a lot of damage. The Eye Cthulhu is a really strong weapon. I don't really know. I haven't used Yo-Yo's too much uh, here in the late game, but I probably should use them more, shouldn't I? I'm probably going to stand here until I can get another Mothron, but yeah, I believe there is a chainsaw we can get from that dude right there, the Butcher, or whatever the hell his name is. And I think there's a dagger we can also get from something else, a dagger or a knife. But yeah, that's going to end off this episode. I'm going to farm this, see what, I can, what kind of goodies I can get from it. I'll see you guys uh, next time in Terraria 1.3. We should be... What are we doing? I think what we're going to do next episode is probably attempt to take on the Duke Fish one, but I'm not sure. Remember when I said I was going to end the episode? I lied. I just want to show you guys right here. There's a chainsaw chilling right there. Butcher's chainsaw. Got it. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. We'll test that out in the next episode, though, because I don't want to really switch weapons while I'm fighting Mothron. Uh... But this Seedler, oh my god, this Seedler is such a good weapon. Ugh.